City Rewards credit card with the Instagram Amaze card combo has been my single credit card strategy and I use it almost every time um, because it is the most versatile one and yet encompasses so many great things into two single cards. Because you do earn 10x reward points for online spending and that's where Instagram Amaze will convert all the kind of physical spending, be it swipe, cheap, contactless, to the online spend category which earns you 10x reward points. And then on this 10x reward points with City, you could use it to redeem 4 miles per dollar or you can actually redeem cashback up to 3.5% if you redeem for more vouchers. But you know one very important fact is that using Instagram Amaze does not change the merchant category code of your spend despite it changing into online spend right because online spend is just a pass-through method it's just like the processing method it does not change whether the fact that the merchant is an excluded spend under city rewards terms and conditions and a very good example is given by my telegram community group member samuel so samuel gave this example whereby if you go into mcdonald's now you do have self-checkout counters and you do have this table orders qr code right so these are the two current ways to order mcdonald's in singapore so you can sit down at your table scan the qr code with your mcdonald's app and make payment through the mcdonald's app and that will be considered an online payment method but you see if you go to the self-checkout counter you make your own order and make a payment through your visa contactless or mastercard pay pass through your mobile phone that's mobile contactless so that is a separate category from online spend the fact is online is just a method of payment okay online doesn't change your merchant category code what is your merchant category code of mcdonald's that is a fast food restaurant that will not change regardless of how you pay it, whether you pay it through your mcdonald's app or you pay it via the credit card machine at the self-checkout counter so let's be very clear here online payment doesn't change your merchant category code of fast food and in this case that's for mcdonald's right so we are very clear on that so you see once you know of this kind of limitation you must really read up on why city actually excludes some of these merchant categories and if you are still confused don't worry because i'll go through some of the common exclusions that people ask on my telegram group so if you have more questions you can go to my telegram group and ask then all the community experts will help you on that at the same time, I will also offer alternative solutions where City Rewards plus Instagram Amaze cannot be used at such merchants then which are the other credit cards that you can use. So let's start with the most obvious and popular category which is travel because I always talk about City Rewards excluding travel. Now City do have some gripe against travel merchants because they don't even include like flights, hotel, airfares, cruise lines, even car rentals and that would include if your restaurant is inside the hotel. Huh? So then what if I want to book my flights and hotels for holidays, for cruise lines, for car rental, all this, which card should I use? Now, if you're able to make it through an online payment method, you can select your DBS Women's World Mastercard, that gold color card, not limited to women only, men also can apply, or you could use your HSBC Revolution if you're into mouse. These two cards will give you four miles per dollar or 10X reward points. But that is more for Singapore dollar spend. But how about foreign currency? Because in in order to avoid or reduce your foreign currency charges, you have to pair up with Instagram Amaze, right? And you know, DBS excludes Instagram Amaze for points rewarding. So in this case, you do have to get another card. That is the UOB ladies card, specific to ladies only. Uh. Guys like me cannot apply. Ask your wife, ask your sister, ask your mother, any other family member that is female, go and apply for the card. Then you can add it to your Instagram Amaze. And select travel category because you can only select one category if you are just the entry tier level, the pink color ladies card. So once you've selected the travel category with UOB ladies, link it with Instagram Amaze, then you go overseas or you do foreign currency transactions, you can then use Instagram Amaze paired up with UOB ladies for your travel transactions because that will earn you 10x reward points or 4 miles per dollar. So the above examples are more for miles and rewards, but how about cashback wise? Cashback wise, I would say if it's in Singapore dollars, you can use your DBS Live Fresh or UOB Evo card. Both of these will award for online travel merchants. So I don't think I've seen any exclusions in those so you can safely use that for your flights and hotel bookings but of course if it's foreign currency then no choice lah you have to pay the foreign currency fee charge on top of that credit card so pick your poison some people like to use trust card or youtube card or revolute card as well i do have the reference down below the next exclusion is public transportation and that would include your simply go bus and mrt rides in singapore because some people ask in my telegram group can i use city rewards plus instagram amaze for my bus and mrt rides okay the answer is no any transit 
Syndicate related transactions are excluded from a 10x reward points from City Rewards. So don't use it on your Simply Go Bus and MRT rides. You can use other alternatives such as your Standard Chartered Smart Credit Card because that will award you 6% cashback in terms of reward points. So 6%, no minimum plan, easy, right? Just clock your public transportation rights on SC Smart Card. Or if you are doing the UOB1 account for 5% effective interest rate, then you can consider using the UOB Evo card or UOB1 card. Both of these will award cashback for Simply Go Bus and MRT rides, especially the UOB1 card, right? That's an additional cashback merchant where you get 3.33% plus additional 5% cashback, totaling up to 8.3% effective. And if you are a DBS supporter, then you can definitely use DBS Leaf Fresh card because on top of that 5% normal base cashback, you do get additional 5% cashback because it is a green cashback because they want to encourage you to go green, take public transportation, reduce the carbon emission, all that. So you get a total of 10% cashback on DBS Refresh for public transportation. Next exclusion is definitely GrabPay prepaid wallet top-ups. Okay, I know I talk about GrabPay many times and you should know, right? Come on, you know GrabPay has been nerfed until so many times. You expect them to give you 10x reward points for city rewards? I think your dream on Nah, oh, last time it exists but now it doesn't so then which card can you use for topping up your grab pay wallet then okay you are only left with two cards right now american express true cashback that gets you 1.5 percent cashback and the other one is the american express high flyer or sia business card this one is more for those registered business with a uen nah. so you have to register your business which i went through in a separate review video already so that is 1.8 miles per dollar pretty good right 1.8 miles per dollar so you know all these promotions is really for a limited period of time and if you don't want to miss your chance to miss the next deal then you have to take a look at this sponsor the good news is that Weibo has significantly reduced their deposit requirements to just a mere hundred Singapore dollars for Feb 2023 but I think you should deposit much more than that because one of the requirements is that you need to buy a US stock of minimum 100 US dollars as well as buying one options contract which you can follow through in this tutorial where I show you how you can buy a spy call option with close to one US dollars expense now once you have fulfilled both of these requirements you are entitled to 100 US dollars as long as you have not made any withdrawals for at least 30 days to Add on if you want to stand a chance to win up to $1,888 worth of Apple fractional shares, then you have to subscribe to one mutual fund and hold it for at least five days via the Weibo app. And I'll show you how to navigate and do it, right? You could just follow this tutorial and this recording on how I did it. So you see the maximum reward that you could receive for Weibo February is $1,988. So hurry up and use my referral link down below or scan a QR code right here to sign up for your Weibo account today. Okay, next common exclusion is insurance. And you know, insurance is such a common exclusion. So I don't know why people are expecting that using City Rewards plus Amaze will turn it into a 10x and 4 one per dollar merchant. It doesn't, okay? If you read City Rewards, insurance is specifically excluded. So even if you charge it through Amaze, it won't change the fact that insurance is excluded. But you know what are the other credit cards you can use? I've talked about it before. One of it is the Maybank Platinum Visa which gives you 3.33% if you make a minimum spend of $300 per month. Or the other way is to sign up for HSBC Everyday Global Account or EGA in short, because that does give you 1% cashback if you make any gyro bill payments. And that's where you can do your gyro bill payments to these insurance companies or even other companies that accept gyro bill payment, right? You get 1% cashback there. Okay, another category is utilities because you know, everyone needs to pay for utilities. For electricity-wise, I'm currently using Genico, that is the electricity provider. And the thing about Genico is that it accepts grab pay payment. So what I do is that I will use my Amex High Flyer or Amex True Cashback to top up to my grab pay wallet. That itself earn at least a 1.5% cashback, right? With True Cashback. Then with the 1.2% grab rewards for grab pay, that is a total of 2.7% rewards okay grab pay is still giving you 1.2 percent back for grab pay online and genico happens to accept grab pay that's why i can get a net 2.7 percent in terms of cashback or reward but i think most of you are not using genico la. it's okay you can still use your amex high flyer or true cashback if they accept american express just get the base cashback it's better than nothing but how about those families if you only pay for sp utilities okay that is the main singapore government provider service for utilities right then of course 
course, you can use the UOB1 credit card because specifically, they say that not only you can get base 3.33%, it's an additional cashback merchant as well. You get 1% additional cashback on top of that 3.33%. And I know some of you, your utility bills are really large, right? Like two three hundred dollars per month. Then you can satisfy for the UOB1 card spend really because you need to spend a minimum of $500 per month to qualify for that 3.33%. So maybe your utilities bill is $200. You just need to spend another $300 to qualify for that minimum cashback. All right, last common exclusion that will be your government services or education because you know some of you need to pay government service, right? Like if you want to pay ICA, you want to renew your passport or you have some other payments that you need to make to government bodies or even you want to pay your school fees, be it private or public education, then some of them, if they can accept American Express, especially ICA, I just paid ICA using American Express. So you can use your True Cashback or Amex High Flyer card. Both of these will earn you your cashback or your mouse, depending on which card you use. So try to use Amex first. But you see, if they do not accept American Express, then of course you can route it through GrabPay MasterCard. How you do that is you top up your GrabPay wallet with Amex High Flyer or Amex True Cashback. Then you get that cashback or mouse ready, right? Then you use your GrabPay MasterCard to go and pay to your government body or education body. Okay, of course you don't get that 1.2%. Nah. Don't be too greedy. At least you get that cashback and mouse ready on your GrabPay wallet top up. So there's no other way. But at least it's better than using cash or nets to make these payments, right? You don't earn anything on those. So yes, here are some of the common exclusions by by City Rewards plus Instagram Amaze. So if anyone asks this question on my group again, I will direct them to this video because I've explained very clearly what are the exclusions and maybe there are some exclusions that I miss out. Do comment down below or come to my group. But if you really want to know why I use Instagram Amaze so much, even for cashback users, right? Then you can refer to my previous video where I show you the best cashback credit card with no minimum spend.